we, uh, we, the Security Council, signatories of the Shared Commitments on Women, Peace, and Security, WPS, Ecuador, France, Guyana, Japan, Malta, Sierra Leone, Slovenia, Switzerland, the United Kingdom, the United States of, of America, and my own country, the Republic of Korea, have gathered here today to voice our concerns on the dire situation for women and girls in Sudan. The prolonged conflict in Sudan has created one of the world's largest humanitarian crises, with millions facing famine and lacking essential health services. The crisis has a catastrophic impact on lives, dignity, and human rights of women and girls. We reiterate the call for an immediate ceasefire across Sudan and full compliance with the arms embargo in accordance with the relevant Security Council resolutions. All warring parties should ensure the protection of civilians and the full, safe, rapid, and unhindered humanitarian access as called for including at the International Humanitarian Conference held in Paris last April. In light of the International Day for the Elimination of Sexual Violence in Conflict on the 19th of June, we express our strongest condemnation of sexual violence, including when used as a tactic of war, and hereby reaffirm our commitment to supporting survivors and empowering women's participation in peace and security processes. First, we demand that all parties immediately cease all acts of sexual and gender-based violence, including rape as a tactic of war and targeting women and girls based on ethnicity, and fully commit to preventing and addressing such acts. We welcome the prioritization of these atrocities by the International Criminal Court and the UN Fact-Finding Mission. We reiterate that those who commit violations of international humanitarian law or human rights law or other atrocities are to be held accountable and may be subject to targeted sanctions measures in accordance with the Security Council Resolution 1591. Second, we are committed to supporting a comprehensive survivor-centered approach. We urge international partners to direct funds to local women-led organizations and programs that assist survivors. We stress the importance of full access of life-saving services, including sexual and reproductive health services. And all attacks on medical workers and facilities must be stopped. Also, we condemn any threat or attacks against women, human rights defenders, and activists, and urge the removal of any restrictions on their work. Finally, we are deeply concerned that despite numerous calls, Sudanese women have been excluded from multiple talks and negotiations since hostilities escalated in April 2023. We demand the full equal, meaningful, and safe participation of Sudanese women and women's organizations in all political processes, including humanitarian and accountability efforts. We encourage the Secretary General's personal envoy and major regional actors, including the African Union, to support the inclusion of women in peace talks and prioritize gender perspectives in their endeavors. Thank you. Listen to your demand for a localized ceasefire in Al Fasher. Uh, by all accounts, the city could fall quickly, imminently. What are the next steps? How long are you going to wait to act strongly? The, in the light of uh, this catastrophic situation in Sudan, the Security Council remains seized of this important matter and uh, closely monitor how things develop on the ground and engage in serious discussions. And, take action, appropriate action if necessary. Thank you. Ambassador, what pressure is the Council putting on the countries selling arms to the warring parties? What pressure are you putting on them? 